Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a long time, but on today's video, we are gonna review the new release. I think it's new. I don't know if it's like one that they had before and then brought back. It's the Miami capsule. I saw it last week, ordered it, and I just received it. So I wanted to do a taste test for you guys. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. Okay, so this is the box right here, Nespresso Miami. I think it's not limited edition because usually they'll say like limited edition on their website or on the box. Sometimes the box will be kind of like a special box. This one seems to be a capsule that's gonna stick around. So if you haven't bought it, don't worry. I think it's not limited edition. If you know otherwise, let me know in the comments. But again, this is the box right here. It's a super pretty color. I can already imagine the capsule. But before we go deep dive into the taste test, let's just read what the website says about Miami. Okay, so it's under their world explorations, journey through the complex profiles and lingering tastes of our Lungo range. So it's funny because they say Lungo range and then they have all these capsules under it. But this one, according to them, is best served as ristretto and espresso. And so it's a level intensity nine, which you know what, I'm starting to like a stronger roast. Not the strongest, but I'm starting to go into like level eights, nines, tens, and I'm okay with it. This one's a level nine, and all it says as far as notes are cereal notes. So that's exciting. It's $8 for one sleeve, and as far as taste goes, it says with its intensely roasted cereal and woody character, taste the peppery and tobacco leaf aromas packed beneath the dark crema of this espresso. A full body intense roast carrying delightful roasted woody and cereal notes complemented by a dark crema. Aromatic notes are nutty and balanced. Low acidity for those that don't really like acidity. The bitterness is high. Roast, roastiness is a high roast and the body is also high but the fact that it's mainly a cereal note capsule i think that's interesting i think that's what appeals to me the peppery taste kind of scares me but ice forte is also supposedly peppery and that one is good i like it that's all it says so let's open up the box i don't know if the box says anything else shaped by many cultural influences miami is a melting pot of traditions where drinking coffee is a social affair a way to celebrate life embodies the hispanic coffee influence vibrant and bold the intense roasting of latin american and caribbean coffees unveils a dark crema that crowns the cereal peppery and tobacco leaf aromas enjoy it like a local sip your cafecito black or with a sprinkle of brown sugar so they recommend to sip it black or with a sprinkle of brown sugar but no milk I'm going to add milk just because I like milk either way, but I am going to taste it the way they recommend it. I'll taste it black first. I'll even add a little bit of brown sugar to see how it tastes black with brown sugar, and then we'll add some milk. So let me open up the box. Oh my God, this is such a pretty color. Bring it up close so you guys can see it. It's like a nice turquoise, very pretty color. I just love when espresso does with other cups capsules. It's pretty. And then like the design is... uh. It's pretty. It almost looks like to me like those little things that they put in the parades that you cut out of tissue paper and then they have all these little designs. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. So, super cute. Like I said, I'm gonna do it black. I have my crutista here that we're gonna use. Oops. I'm only gonna do one capsule. And we'll use this cup right here. That's how it looks like. All right, let me smell it. I love the smell. I was afraid that I was gonna smell peppery and tobacco-y and just really strong, but it smells smooth, like, like cereal notes. I kind of smell the tobacco now that I smelled it again, but it's not overwhelming. It smells good. Okay, let's try it dark or black. Should I mix the crema? Let me mix the crema. Let's give it a good mix. All right, let's try it. <laughs> that is strong. 
and bitter. I can taste the tobacco-iness as like a second or third note. Once you like swallow, you're left with that tobacco feeling. Not my favorite black, but let me put a little bit of brown sugar and see how that helps out a little bit. Since we only did one shot, I'm just gonna do one, not one, it's actually a half a teaspoon. We'll do like a half a teaspoon. So right in there and then I'll mix it up. I can imagine this is similar to Puerto Rico. I think Puerto Rico is like a level 10, but Puerto Rico I drink with brown sugar and milk and it's really good. So let's try this with brown sugar. That's better. I still don't know if I can drink this black even with the brown sugar, but it's better. It's not bad at all. Yeah, it almost mellows out that tobacco feel and it's just, you're just left with like a dark roast, full bodied espresso shot. It's not bad. Completely black with no sugar is a little too strong for me, but this way is better. Let's try it with milk. I'm gonna froth a little bit of oat milk because that's just my preference. This is my choice of milk. I like pretty much anything Chobani. Silk as well. I do have a milks, like favorite milks video. I'll put it up here somewhere and then in the description so you guys can, so you guys can check it out. But I love Chobani Zero Sugar or this one, the plain extra creamy has been really good for latte art, uh, surprisingly. So, all right, so I'm gonna do i'm gonna do about a half a cup just to get this frother going but i don't think i'll pour all of the milk in so this is the maestri house frother i'm just filling it up to where it says minimum and it's usually about a half cup all right so the milk is here i'm just gonna pour about that much Usually when I do two shots of espresso, I'll do a half cup of milk. When it's a single shot, it's just under a half cup. I won't do a quarter cup. I'll do just under a uh, half cup. All right, let's try it with milk. And it already has brown sugar, so I'm not going to add anything else to it. that mellowed it out really nicely. Like you can still taste the coffee flavor and even the, the brown sugar, it's not too overpowering. Everything just kind of meshed really well together. It is really good, <laughs> nice and smooth. I could definitely taste the cereal notes now more so than anything else and I'm loving it. This is really good with milk and I'm happy because that's how I drink my milk. If you guys drink black, kudos to you, but this is just the way I like it and it's really good. I don't know what I like better, Puerto Rico or or this one. Obviously, they're different machines. Puerto Rico is only with Virtual Line, and then this one I forgot to mention is only with Original Line. Virtual Line doesn't have it. That's why I like having both machines. This is a winner. Let's try it iced. I was gonna dump this over ice, but I think I'm gonna brew a whole new thing and maybe try French vanilla because that's one of my favorite syrups. I'm gonna put some ice in this cup and then we'll brew another shot of espresso. I'm not really gonna froth it or anything, so I'll do... I'll do about that much. Yeah, we'll start there. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of French vanilla. And then here's the espresso shot. I'll give you guys a close up. Give it a good mix. Perfect color. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Oh my God. So good. Guys, I think I found my new favorite capsule. Probably for the summertime. Because I like it better iced. It is so good. And usually, lately for some reason, it's been happening where I like it better hot. But this is so refreshing. What did I do? Like, there's actual measurements. 
I did about four ounces of milk and then your espresso shot, if that helps, and then ice. Obviously, you can double that if you're gonna do two, two shots, which I probably would. If I do two shots, most likely I'll do a half cup. But what is four ounces? It's about a quarter cup, maybe? It is so, so good. Oh my God, okay. So overall, this capsule is a winner because I like it hot. I can see myself enjoying that in the morning, you know, a short or tall latte, a single shot or a double shot hot in the morning so good and then iced it's so good like it doesn't lose its strength it's still smooth you get enough caffeine flavor it's so good if you have original line and you've been wanting to try this one or you saw it and you were kind of curious i love it it's really good don't let number nine scare you it is a high intensity but once the milk comes in it's really really delicious so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i don't know what my next video is going to be I think it's going to be a vlog about the new house because I've been vlogging every time we go. We go every weekend and we've been doing little things here and there as far as kind of moving in. If you're new here, I, we just purchased a new construction home, but we don't move in fully until June because we have to be in this apartment until my husband finishes the project that he's doing out here. Every weekend we go and I vlog and do all the things so i think that's what's going to be my next video i also want to do a review on the soku iced coffee maker like a to-go iced coffee maker i shared it on instagram i also shared it in a vlog actually that vlog is going to be the next one but i wanted to do a dedicated video because i think this is a product worth sharing so that is what's coming up in the future i'm sorry i've been kind of mia on youtube i've just been really exhausted with the move and we've been doing potty training with lucas so lots of things but thank you guys for sticking around thank you guys for always being here and yeah i think that is it for today's video thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video bye